Hey guys, it's Mo and I'm back with another van life video. So this video is very similar to the last van life video I posted where it's basically just another Amazon haul and unboxing. So there it's so many things that you need for the van. It's getting ridiculous. I'm broke and there's still many more things that I need to get for the van. First thing we have, this is just um a mattress topper, like a um a pillow top mattress topper. So this here is the bed frame and then I have a really thin portable memory foam mattress that I actually usually use for when I'm night nannying. So I can just roll it out on the floor of the nursery and like sleep in there with the baby. Um, but I think I'm gonna either buy a second one for when I am working or I haven't figured it out yet. But my plan is to put my memory foam topper on the bed and then put this pillow top on top of that. And I'm hoping that gives me enough comfort um, as far as how the bed is gonna work for the van. The memory topper or the memory foam pad is comfortable enough and it should do, I don't know. Part of the reason also why I bought this pillow top mattress topper to put on the memory foam is because the memory foam freezes. And I have yet to hear about a single van life person because it seems like across the board, they all use some type of memory foam as their mattress base. And nobody talks about it freezing in colder temperatures because memory foam does freeze. It turns rock hard. And so it's like, I don't wanna be laying on a cold block of memory foam. So I'm hoping that even if the mattress may freeze, um, this will kinda give me some more padding. And I feel like that was really hard for me to explain. I don't know why, moving on. <laughs> I also have a couple of things from Walmart. We'll go ahead and open these up next. So when I was at, was this from Walmart or the Dollar Store? No, this is from the Dollar Tree. So I got this waste basket at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 and it's small enough uh, that it should serve me well in the van. While I was at the Dollar Tree, I also found uh, an eight in one multi-use pocket knife. So I think this will come in handy on the road or while I'm hiking. It's got scissors, a knife, a Phillips screwdriver, a can opener, a bottle opener, a flat screwdriver, a nail file, and a corkscrew. So found this at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And then I also found this little guy. So how cute is this little um, dustpan and broom? This is like perfect for the van. So I'll be able to just sweep up. This should work out nice. So this is super cute, small and compact. So also while at the Dollar Tree, I got a couple of bins. So this came in a three piece. It's just a little square tote. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna put in here yet, but I got it cause I'm sure I might find something. So there's three of these. And then I bought is this one or two? This is two. And two of these. Um, I think my plan for these is to keep like my eating utensils in one of these for sure. Like my cooking utensils and my eating utensils will be in these little um, slender bins. And then I bought three of these. And these are just like your typical shoebox bins. So whoo, I've got three of these. Again, not completely sure what I'm gonna use them for, but I'm sure they will have a purpose. And these ones actually come with lids. So I also went to Walmart. So I wanna share with you guys the few things that I bought from there for the van. In this bag, I found, it's just like a fire extinguisher. I obviously don't anticipate any fires, but this is, again, it's small. Um, seems easy enough to use that I will be able to use this if there is some type of fire in the van. I've got some uh, 16 ounce cans of propane. So this will be used for my um, cooking stove. And if I do end up getting like a Mr. Buddy heater, which I'm still kind of on the fence about, I'll be able to use these for that as well. But I got three of these. My plan is to keep, you know, all three of, or to keep at least three of these in the van at all times. At Walmart, they sell it in like this little twin two pack and then I just bought an additional one. And three might even be too much. Like I might find once I'm on the road that 
I do better with two and then also again thinking about storage because these are kind of clunky kind of big um so I might end up just doing two on the road instead of three okay also from Walmart I've got oh Jesus how cute is this little teeny tiny tea kettle super cute I found this in the camping aisle at Walmart um and it's perfect because I was thinking some I like to drink tea in the morning so at first I just thought that I would just take one of the pots that I'm going to bring with me on the road and just heat um water up on the pot and then I saw this super cute tea kettle because I wanted a tea kettle but I didn't like tea kettles are kind of big and they're kind of bulky and it just won't be a good fit for the van I can just boil a pot of water and then I saw this cute little guy in the um camping aisle at Walmart so definitely scooped it up and it's stainless steel I'm excited about this purchase what else did we buy while it world um I bought these blackout curtains these are gonna be for the front cab area at nighttime to separate the front cab of the van from this back cab um, I still need to figure out the rotting system for this like how I'm going to actually hang them and be able to use them back and forth like a curtain I don't think I'll be able to use a traditional curtain rod and so I can't even clearly recall what other people have done in their van builds but I think maybe I'll go to Home Depot or something and get some type of like flexible bendy pole and rig it up there I genuinely don't know I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch people's videos to see how they were able to um, put their blackout curtains up but yeah so I've got these <clears throat> I bought these also for the van build they're just like little um, well they're called chair tips so with the the bed I just wanted to make sure that it was secure and it doesn't like slide off the back part of the van there's a there's there's space for the bed to like if it moves it will fall off the edge and I don't want that and so I was gonna get some stoppers drill these down into the floor and then put the bed post inside of them so that they would be secure however these are too small and I've already gone to Home Depot and I didn't see any so I think I'm gonna try Home Depot again maybe try Lowe's to see if I can't find a stopper that will fit the bed posts and then like I said drill these on the floor put the bed post in there and then I don't have to be like paranoid about me moving at night and then this thing falling over these will be getting returned because they're too small for what I wanted them for Jesus I feel like I'm like being long-winded <laughs> all right what else we have um, these are those little ratchet tie downs. Um, I've seen some people use these for like when you're actually going to be traveling, like the van is moving. Um, so like your little three tier drawers or anything that can like open up or fall over. I okay, so of course the camera timed out, but um, with these, apparently you can like crank them and make them nice and tight and snug. And then I don't have to worry about like drawers falling out and just it being a complete mess by the time I get from point A to point, point B in the back of the van. So I've got this, I think I bought two of these. Yeah, I did, cause they're, they're different, um, different length. So this is 12 feet, this is 13 feet. This is only one, this comes with two um apparently this one can it has a working load of 500 pounds and this has a working load of 200 pounds which i don't think any of that really applies to me either way um i probably won't need both of these and more than likely will be taking one of these back um and then i bought this little thing uh, just a random purchase that i saw in the kitchen aisle it's a funnel but it's a collapsible funnel i genuinely have no idea why i would need a funnel on the road like i really don't i might actually <laughs> i don't know how much i pay for this but i might take it back because it seems a bit unnecessary like what would i have that needs to be funneled from something big into something small so we'll see. I have to look and see how much I paid for this. If I paid more than like $2 for it, I'm gonna return this. I think I just liked it because it was collapsible. But yeah, I don't have a need for a funnel. So see how it just won't take up much space at all. Yeah, if y'all noticed a difference in sound quality, it was because for the first two minutes of this camera timeout, 
I didn't have the good mic on. So, my bad. All right, what else we got, y'all? When I tell y'all, I be struggling, but I be trying. Y'all know I be trying. <laughs> and then when I be buying all this stuff, I be like letting it pile up so that I can film a video. And then I be forgetting whatever I bought. So, it'd be a surprise for me. Ooh, this is a good purchase. So, I can't remember if I see. So, a lot of the purchases that I am making, they are coming from watching everybody else's van life videos. And then the comments are great because people will comment. So, like, if a van lifer is having some type of dilemma, um, people will comment and say, oh, you should get this or you should order that. Actually, I did meant to look... I had at least two different subbies and I wanted to give you guys shout outs and I didn't pre-write down your names. Apologies. Y'all know who y'all are. Big ups to y'all. I had two subscribers mention to me the little, um, the car TV trays. So I definitely ordered one of those. It's in one of these boxes. And so we'll be able to do like mukbangs in the car and I'll have like a proper eating space. So thanks for the suggestion definitely purchased it and then this here was one of those so that was just an example so people will comment you should try this or you should order one of these this is a what is it calls it a hot logic mini oven and essentially it's a lunch box but it gets warm so they were saying like if you've got a meal or something that you like I guess truckers use this a lot um, where you wake up in the morning it plugs in a nine volt plug so it can go into the car jack it can go to the jackery battery more than likely I'll probably use it up front in the car jack in the front seat and I will be able to put a meal like some soup or some type of leftovers anything I'll be able to put in here and then warm it up so kind of think of it as like a crock pot slash lunchbox um had great reviews online i can't remember whose video someone suggested it on but i bought it so i'm excited to use this so this will kind of work as my microwave like this will be the closest thing i have to a microwave in the van but again the reviews were saying it works great it warms up the food fairly quickly but it does get hot so that's exciting uh what else we got <laughs> Okay, looks like there's several goodies in this box. Oh, headlamps. So again, if I'm like out in the dark or even just in the van, out camping somewhere, headlamps are gonna come in handy for a light source. So you just put these on your head, boom, bings out light. This actually came in a two pack, um, relatively cheap. I only needed one, but it came in a two pack. So we've got uh, headlamps. I guess I can open these up so you guys can like actually see what we got. Let's go back to the lunchbox. Okay, so here's this again. And then again, you can see, and I like how they have a little cubby for the, uh, let me see if y'all can see that. A little cubby for the um, cord to go in. And like I said, it's just a nine volt cord, goes into the car. And then in the inside here, I guess it's a little bit smaller than I expected. Oh, and it comes with some Tupperware. How nice, that's very nice. So it came with a little plastic Tupperware bin. That's nice. It comes with, looks like a cooking guide. And then I guess this is the hot plate. So yeah, again, thin, this must be the hot plate that gets it nice and toasty. And I'm assuming you can put plastic directly on it. Otherwise they wouldn't have given me this. Although I do plan on bringing my um, glass Pyrex storage containers. Um, you got the aluminum in here for the insulation. Yeah, so yeah, it's definitely a bit smaller than I thought it would be, but we're going to make it work. And then the, back to the headlamps. Oh, so I guess they have to be charged up USB wise. Each one comes with its own cord. And then here's the headlamps. Not that it say light on here. Does this come off? Because that's weird. All right, so this will go on like this and then I'm not sure how, oh, there we go, clicks on. And then I'll be able to do me, hands free. Did it go off? Nope, still on, let's see. 
You have to hold it. Yep, hold it down and turn it off. Bet. So these should come in handy. Okay, what else we got? Ooh, this is an external uh, CD drive for the computer. So I actually had one of these and then y'all know how Apple is. So in my computer, it did an update. And then after it updated, it wasn't compatible with my uh, external DVD drive anymore. So fun fact about me is when I'm doing a road trip, what helps me like make the time go by easier like I'm not a huge music person I would prefer to either talk on the phone I feel like talking on the phone kills time very well so that way the drive just doesn't seem so sucky talk on the phone or a lot of times if I'm not able to get in touch with anybody or if there's just no reception when I'm traveling like in the middle of nowhere I like to play some of my favorite DVDs so disclaimer, I'm not actually watching them while I'm driving. But again, if it's a movie that you love and you know by heart, you don't have to see it. But even just hearing it while I'm driving, I feel like I'm kind of watching the movie. And then, you know, a movie is a good two hours long. And so it's a good way to kill two hours. And so, like I said, the last one I had is now incompatible with the computer. And so I just went ahead and, and bought another one. So that way I can watch my DVDs while I'm doing long haul traveling. Super excited about this purchase. And I also need to see if it works with the computer. The review said it was compatible with Apple's. So hopefully I don't have any problems out of it. Okay, next. Ooh, this is a good purchase too. So this is a hot water bottle. So again, um, watching van life videos, um, which shout out to Alyssa Vanilla. She is a van lifer, single female uh, van lifer. And I've been really enjoying watching her videos. Um, make sure you guys go follow her and then tell her that I sent you. You might like her. But anyway, so she just, she's, summering or she's wintering in the desert in Arizona but it's just been like super cold even in the desert lately it's weird and it's gotten like really cold at nighttime there and she was having a hard time keeping herself warm and so again a lot of the people in the comments gave all these suggestions on ways to keep yourself warm while in the van one of those suggestions was a water bottle heater so the one that I got, it came with this cute little like cozy to go over it. But essentially, you guys may have seen these before. It's just a water bottle heater or what do they call it? A water bottle, a hot water bottle. And so again, with my little tea kettle, I will be able to boil me up some water at night, uh, pour it in here. I like that it comes with a cover so that it doesn't like scald you and it's not, you know, uh, bottle to skin contact but people are saying you put this in the bed with you at night and you don't have no problems about staying warm they say it stays warm all night it keeps you warm all night so people were swearing about it swearing by it people were saying you could probably use two of them to put in the bed with you at night uh i actually don't intend on being anywhere cold but we'll see i might buy a second one if this one is doesn't suffice but I hope that just the one will be good enough. Struggling to put the little sweater back on it. So here's that. Very cute. Alrighty. What else is in here? There's a lot of stuff in this box. I didn't realize I bought all this crap, y'all. <laughs> Been buying stuff like crazy. Okay. This it says trip tips on it, but I don't know what this is. So we're gonna have to. Oh, this is actually the new uh, collapsible adult potty. So again, if you guys watched the last video, you saw that I had bought that children's potty. And then someone in the comments said they have adult version potties. And so I got that one. This one definitely bigger, definitely heavier than that kitty one. And I've already returned the kitty one. Yeah, this one is quite a bit bigger. So this is that, let's get it out the bag here. It's also quite a bit heavier. So, and it looks a bit more complicated to get out. Oh, oh, okay. So it's circular. This comes down. Oh Lord, this is way more complicated than I need it to be. Yeah, I don't think I like this, y'all. 
kind of weird. Y'all can't even see what I got going on here. So first of all, look how big this is. It's way bigger than I need it to be. Um, and then I guess, again, you just lift this part up. It does go all the way back. Oh, here's the, oh wait, no, okay. So here we go. So yeah, I guess you just sit on here. But then it's like, why is this so big? Like what? I don't think the baggies I bought are gonna be big enough for this. And this is just way bigger than I expected it to be. So that does kind of give us a bit of a dilemma. Like, do I just go and reorder the tiny kid version one again? Or do I stick with this one? Cause I mean, remember this is only supposed to be for like emergencies in the van. Like if I just can't get to a gas station or a restroom. This one also seems low key. It seems a bit flimsy unless I'm just not doing it right. Let me, I'm about to, I know I like to experiment. I'm about to sit on it. <laughs> Even just the placement, it's just so much bigger. And like I said, I'm concerned about the center part being way too big I mean I can sit on it it's comfortable I still got a good height clearance up top so I don't know y'all ah damn yeah that's something I'm gonna have to play around with and kind of make a decision but I kind of feel like I want the kitty potty one back We'll see. Moving along. The last thing in this box is, we were just talking about this, the TV tray. So apparently this is a TV tray that, I think they said it hooks on the steering wheel. So, yeah. I'm trying to think, because here's the thing. I, I want to eat in the passenger seat. Like I feel like there's gonna be like more space and stuff over there. But I don't think this goes on the passenger seat because I think it hooks to the steering wheel. Either way, I think this is what that person was talking about. Goes on the steering wheel. There's a little bit of space here for some food. There's like a little space for some drink right there. I think these little spaces may fit a sauce. Anyways, we might actually end up using this today if I film a car mukbang for you guys. Because low-key, I am starving right now and I was thinking about going to get a sandwich from McAllister's later. Alright, let me put these things away and then we'll get to the next box. Let's get this guy back here. Okay, so there's just one item in this box. Very heavy. This is actually a navy grade wool blanket. Another person has suggested on uh, Alyssa Vanilla's uh, van life video where she was saying that she was getting cold at night. They said you need to get a navy grade wool blanket. Um, I'm assuming because they keep you warm. So anyways, ran to Amazon, threw one of them in the cart. It's not gonna hurt anything, but I don't like being cold y'all. So I need to kind of take all the precautions as to keep myself warm in the van. So it's definitely, it's thick, it's heavy. Um, yeah, and I actually got it in navy blue. That's what this is. I'm actually gonna sit on this right now because I'm sitting on this floor in the van and it's hard. Oh, that's better. Let's go with this guy back here. Ooh, no, battery is dying. Yeah, and again, I need to get my life. I need to clean my house. I have three batteries from when I was like in my heyday of YouTube. I bought three batteries so that if one died, I'd be able to just switch right over to another one. I have absolutely no idea where those other two batteries are and it's clearly biting me in the ass. Um, I'm gonna see if maybe I can like when this battery dies I'll just film the rest of the video on my phone so that I can get this video made Anywho, so in this box is a sleeping bag and it's actually a zero degree sleeping bag So I intentionally wanted the warmest sleeping bag I can find um And the zero degree is the one I found they have like a 30 degree a 20 degree and then zero Uh, I don't plan on being in nobody's zero degree weather, but again warm so I like this, it feels nice and soft. This is just gonna go lay down straight on the bed and then I'll just be able to climb in and out of it at nighttime. So we won't open it up, but it looks nice. The material feels nice and smooth on this outside part, so. Oh yeah, look, it's got a little bit of color here. 
So I think they did. Is this the inside or is this the outside? I don't know, but it's red, so it matches the van. That's a nice touch. I don't know if I did that on purpose. Like I said, I ordered these things weeks ago. Anywho, moving on. Um, I probably won't open this box in the far back there. Again, you can see the Jackery logo. If you watched the last video, you saw that I bought the Jackery car battery and it's supposed to be able to work nice with solar panels. I didn't have plans on buying the solar panels because again, I'm broke. They said that you need two to be able to like efficiently charge the battery, but I've just got the one. Um, one is better than none. It might just take longer to, you know, get some juice to the battery. Today is actually a decent sunny day uh, for December. So if I do end up opening that one off camera, I'm going to try to play around with it and place it out in the sun so I can see like on a sunny winter day how much energy it can pull from the sun into the battery. So that's what that box is back there. It's a solar panel. Um, I'm sure you guys will see it in a future video, but I probably won't open it today. Well, at least not on camera. Okay, this box is exciting too. It's also way bigger than I anticipated. And so it's kind of scaring me a bit because I might have to take it back. In this box, y'all, we have, um, my cooking stove. This is supposed to be my cooking stove. It's a two burner propane camping stove. It's supposed to be one of the best brands and one of the best stoves. So I did splurge on that. Like I said, it's looking a bit bigger than I anticipated. So I might end up taking it back. And when I was in the camping section at Walmart the other day, they had a very reasonably priced one and it was much smaller. So there's a chance I will go ahead and take this out of the box so that I can see like how much of the length is the actual stove. Like if it stops like right here, that will be most helpful. <laughs> so we'll see, but I'm excited about it. Anyways, that's that. And there's this one more box down here at the bottom. I'll see if I can get to it before this camera dies. Cause again, I have no idea what's in here. Trying to move fast. Oh, I remember what these are. These are exciting. These are way bigger than I thought they would be. God damn it. Everything's too big. Okay, yeah, these are extremely way bigger than I expected them to be. So these are five gallon water jugs. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I got the military. Yeah, I got the military grade. They had some that were two and a half gallons, and I actually really wanted those, but they were the exact same price as the five gallons. So that was kind of weird. And I really wanted those one because they were smaller, but more so that they would be easier to carry. Once this is because this already feels pretty hefty, and then once I fill it with five gallons of water, it's going to be a pain in the ass to carry it in and out of the van, or at least in the van. And so I was trying to be um, conscious of that. And then I was like, oh, I'll just get the two and a half gallon ones. But like I said, they were the exact same price as these. So I would have ended up spending twice the amount of money to get the smaller ones versus just getting these big ones. But um, there's a very high chance that I will be returning these because they are pretty big. And I got two of them so that I would have 10 gallons of water storage in the van at all times. I think that's a a decent amount of water to have in here is 10 gallons so whew, that was every <laughs> damn it okay y'all so i had to switch over to the phone camera but the battery uh dead signal did pretty good on the the regular camera anyways i just wanted to at least be able to film an outro for you guys um you've seen we've we've that's everything that i bought this time uh, like I said, the next video will be an actual update on what I've done to the van, where I'm at so far in the van, because I'm most definitely behind schedule. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you guys like it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you give your girl a comment. I need to do better with engagement. I need to just do better as a YouTuber. Y'all know I'm working on it. We gonna get there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.